Breaking the law is one thing and being able to evade consequences is another thing, one that requires some level of intelligence. Sadly, the people we have on this list seem to be unskilled in the latter. Here are four times when stupid criminals get owned by cops. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Um, I just got a call from my daughter. She's at the Walmart and told me she said there's someone in there with a gun. Okay, and what's he doing with the gun? She doesn't know. She freaks out and ran in the bathroom and locked the door. Did she get a description of him? Um, he said he was a white guy, short, blonde hair, black pants. Okay, and how did she know? How did she see that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She just called me. Okay, just hold called. on. Hold on one second. Okay, and how did you describe him? She said he was short and white. She said blonde hair, glasses, and black pants. Can you get the information from the daughter and find out if... On December 2nd, 2022, some Monroe County deputies were unto two individuals who had active warrants for some crimes and had located them to take them in. However, the encounter was about to get a whole lot more interesting. In an attempt to shake off the cops, 34-year-old Kaylee Williams makes a false call to 911, reporting an ongoing robbery at a nearby Walmart. Unfortunately for her, she grew nervous when the dispatcher asked for details on the robbery and hung up. Anyway, open the door so I can talk to you, okay? I don't want to break your grandma's door, okay? But I will. Okay, hold on, okay. Tiffany. Who is this? What Hi. Are you doing? Are you... Yes, what are you doing? It's I'm, a cop. What are you doing? I'm here talking with, with her. Come on in, don't open the door open. All right. What are you doing? Well, she's got to come with us. We got some questions for her. What do I have a felony warrant? Oh, I didn't go sign my bond. Correct, but Spire you also have a Jefferson County body only Which warrant. is what we're paying right now. Okay, it's body only, it doesn't have it's a body It's body only for child support, but if, she, if I pay $1,000 to child support, I have the email, I'll show it to you. Kaylee appeared to be agitated and nervous as she tried to gather information to post her warrant. Send it to me. Is your, the card connected to Apple Pay? Is it connected to Cash App? Actually, it's connected to Facebook. No. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just give me the card number and I'll call and pay it myself. Grandma's right here. I'm sorry. I've been trying to handle this shit. I forgot about my war my bond completely. I just talked to my lawyer this morning. I didn't know Justin had a warrant. Okay. We didn't even know. It looks warrant. like the warrant was just issued. So for oh, here? Yeah. Even without the cops saying much, Kaylee was visibly agitated as she knew exactly why the cops were there. Though she tried covering up having any knowledge about a warrant and seemed to push attention away from that to focus only on her bond. But things were about to get even more complicated than her outstanding cases. Did you call 911? A few minutes ago? I might have been on accident, not on purpose. Okay. Do you have a daughter? Uh, yeah, my daughter lives hours away, though. Okay. Is she at Walmart? My daughter's in. My daughter's who called you and told you I was here. Okay, but why did you call 911 and report? I didn't say. If I did, it was not on purpose. I bet you've seen me on the phone in here calling people. I didn't see you on the phone. I was standing outside. Oh, no. I was trying to get a hold of her. I was calling a million different so people. So why did our dispatch center receive a 911 call stating that she received a phone call from her daughter who was at Toma Walmart and said that there was a man that walked into Walmart with a gun? I have no idea. What? I have no idea. Oh, that's no. getting ridiculous. No, 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 no. Okay, you can say no, 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 all you want, but that number that keeps popping up on your phone is my dispatcher calling you. I was wondering you. who the number was. Yeah, that's the number that called because you okay. called from this number. While we were here, you were inside refusing to come out. Yes. Okay. With her earlier insane move exposed, Kaylee found herself in a bit of a struggle to cover up her recent attempt to divert the attention of the cops. Even with clear evidence, she claims that she dialed 911 by mistake. It then became clear to her that she might have just complicated issues for herself. Okay, you were allegedly making phone calls. Okay. Why, why did you call 911? and report that somebody was at Walmart with a gun? Mm, well, I was told that, but I was in a hurry. I, I didn't even do it. I, to be honest with you, I've had about five minutes of a blackout since you guys have been here. I okay. remember nothing. Okay. So back so up. If I did, Let's back up I, to when we when we knocked on the door and made contact with you. Here, I was on the phone with Justin. And you knew the police were here and we were going to come in to arrest you. Yep, I was on the phone so with Justin. why did you call 911? and report that your daughter called you to report that there was a man at the Toma Walmart with Probably a gun. because I was panicking. Okay. Do you know that that's a crime and that's called swatting? No, I did not know Yeah, that. that's something that to elicit a large police response to a location. I assume you probably did that believing that we were going to take off. 
No, and I... Leading to a spike in her anxiety. You just have to be amazed by this woman's ingenuity. Making that call was one thing, but suddenly claiming to have no knowledge of the call? Now that's on a whole new level. I'm just gonna be honest you with here. you, I... 10 for just so you're aware, we are at the garden shed in the back, and it is locked from the inside. So he's in that back shed? No, we haven't been able to get in that back shed for years. My kids used to play back there. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I had Austin Jones was living in that shed last I knew. Is anyone in there now? No, nobody's been in there. I kicked Austin out when he robbed my neighbor's house. Okay. They left a whole trail of Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I, ha I don't go back there. Okay. I haven't been back there since I kicked Austin out. I don't know. I have not been back there. As it turns out, Kaylee's boyfriend, Justin Garbett, also had a Minnesota probation and parole warrant, including one from the Anoka County Sheriff's Office. A really impressive duo. Who are you? My name's Justin. Turn around. Justin? Justin. Turn around. Justin, look at that. Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Get on your knees now. Get on your knees. Hands on top of your head. You know, like your fingers. Is there anybody else in there? No. After a lot of back and forth, the cops had to cut open the locks to the shed to reveal Justin hidden away. Before the door was opened, Kaylee had sworn that nobody had stayed there for some time and even pretended not to have known that Justin had been in there all along. So right now, I'm just going to put your phone on the table. I'm going to be standing up. Okay, walk over to me, face the window, and then have your hands behind your back. Can I put a sweater on? We'll just go like that and I'll bring a sweater. We can't be sure what Kaylee was really thinking, trying to play all those little tricks on the cops, but it certainly wasn't a good idea. She ended up getting herself three counts of bail jumping, swatting, and obstruction. As for Justin, he got transported to Monroe County Jail for his probation and Minnesota warrants. And if you think what Kaylee did was insane, take a look at how this other lady responded to cops when they confronted her for a case of shoplifting. I need sir, to talk to you. please. Yeah. Sir, please. What, sir? Were, you, were you with her? No, no he sir, wasn't. I'm, sir, I saw please. That she was walking from the store out of there. Sir, oh, okay. please. Yeah, ma'am. So you come over here, please. Please, sir. Ma'am. Sir, please. Ma'am. Please. I need to talk to you. About sir, what? About Dollar General. Please, sir. I don't have anyone. I'm like, so you say they're cool with it. Please. Okay. Please, sir. What is your name? Please, please look at my. Let's, let's start like, first. Like, we're on a stuff. Like, I, I'm having a hard time. What is, right okay. so what, is, ah! what is your name? I'm so sick of it. What is your name? That's not fair. I'm hungry. I'm so funny. Understandable. I'm, come on. What is your name? Just let me go. You're not free to go. That's not cool. You're not free to Please, go. Please, sir. What is your name? Please. What is your name? I pay for everything. Understandable. Why did you do that? I don't have anything. What is your name? Please. Let's start Just there. Let me go. I'm gonna pay for it or something. Please, sir. Please. I don't want to go to jail. That's not fair, though. The clip you just saw was from an officer responding to a case of shoplifting in a Dollar General store in New Mexico on the 4th of August, 2023. The young lady appeared to get agitated immediately the cop accosted her, continuously screaming at the top of her voice, paying no attention to what he or his partner had to say. Apparently, this young lady had been causing some trouble at the store, and from the interaction with the cops, it seems she has been doing this for a while. Anyway, the encounter got more heated and it appeared the lady in question wasn't exactly in her right mind. Well, we're trying to figure out what's going on, so you need to work with us, okay? Okay, sir. Okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything sir, you say, please, no! I'm just going to read this to you. Anything you say can and will be used no, against you in you the court of law. you are cheating me right now. I'm I don't out. like that. We're, no, fix that now. What? Now. What? See, fix it. Okay, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. About what? I didn't do you anything. You have the right to talk to a lawyer, have him or her present with no, you while you are being questioned. Sir. I didn't do anything, If you cannot sir. afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you, know you before any questioning, I, if I you wish. I could have bought it. Chloe. She told me to leave first. Chloe. I was going to be in the store, and I was going to buy it, and she told me to leave. Chloe. So I didn't get a chance to buy it. She didn't tell me to. Well, Chloe. I don't want to pay for it. She told me to leave, so I left, right? Chloe. That's her fault. Okay. So I should have, I have the right to leave. Excuse Listen me, sir, I'm me. talking to him. Listen to Excuse me. Excuse me. Listen to What's me. What's wrong with him? Can you get him? I, she told me to leave before I could pay for it. Okay, so, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Sir, I don't deserve turn to around. get arrested. Chloe. No, I'm begging you. Please. Chloe, come here. Please. 
What are you doing? Let go! I'm done! You're about to cut your goddamn phone. Stop! Quit! Stop! <laughs> stop! Please! Stop! What? Quit. At some point, she wanted to make a run for it, but the officers were ready for her. With a little difficulty, the cops were able to get the lady under control and took her in for questioning. Can you get your nuts out of my face, Relax. I'm talking to people, dumbass. Lower your Excuse me, I'm not yourself a little baby, dumbass. Go where? Go where? This lady was relentless till the very end, as she continued to attack every cop she came across. In the end, in addition to the shoplifting charges, she also got charged with battery and resisting and evading arrest. For the next case on this list, it appears some people are just too stubborn for their own good and can turn very simple cases into something much more complicated. That may be, but you gotta go right now. Turn around and start walking, man. Turn around. Come on, you don't want to go to jail. Walk out. Go ahead. Go on, walk. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Trust me, I'm fine. Just don't let him walk out. I know. Are so you go kidding? ahead and walk out. Come on. Oh, Come on. Start walking. For what reason? Andrew's oh, under. I'm going to the. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Hands behind your back. Sorry. Sorry. Turn, Turn around. You're under Sorry. arrest. Put your hands behind Sorry. your back. Stop resisting. Get your hands I don't off do requests. Me. Get your hands off me. Jupiter 968. 968. Get your hands off me. I'll be 1015 Get in the front. Get your hands off me. Hey guys, come on. It turns out this lady was causing a disturbance at this establishment, causing the manager to invite the cops to escort her out of the property. After being asked multiple times to leave the property, the lady refused and made an attempt to push through the cops, causing her to be placed under arrest. Ma'am, you gotta stay here, ma'am. Ma'am. No, don't tell me what to do. I'm don't telling you what to here. do. Yeah, hey, don't walk over here. Look how tiny these are. Look what he's doing to me. Look, he's cutting off my circulation. He's twisting my arm. Because I told, my, because I told the manager I wasn't happy with the way it was. I'm not inferring anything. You're welcome to stand on the sidewalk. Record it. It already is being recorded. Record it. Record it. Because I told the manager that I wasn't happy with the waiters gossiping. When we, we were asking for our salt and pepper, and they were standing there talking together. She, was and I said, she was been arrested because she wouldn't leave the business and after she was told to leave. That's off right. My wrist under You're under my arrest. No. You pulling on this cuff? You pulling on this cuff is why it's hurting. You're cutting my circulation. My son is a state trooper. Are you kidding me? Why? Would you mind pulling her phone? I'm not hurting her. No. Her pulling on these cuffs is what's hurting her. Yeah, okay, well, this is getting a little ridiculous. I agree. If she were to turn and left the business, we wouldn't be here today. Yeah, but officer, okay. you don't arrest people for that. Come on. It's, it's called trespassing. Yes, we do. Hey, that's not, I'm here for this issue right now, okay? With the woman screaming at the cops, the situation quickly attracts the attention of other people who try to reason with the officers on her behalf. In all of this, the woman didn't make the case easy for herself as she continued to disobey every order given by the cops. She ended up with a trespassing charge, coupled with another charge for resisting arrest. Hopefully, this woman learns that getting stubborn with cops is never a good idea. You will always likely end up making issues worse than they should be. The same is the case with this other young lady who got pulled over for lane violations. Reach for a stop as roll over the road back there. Kind of cut. Yeah, you kind of cut right, right, right across the center. You okay? Okay. License, registration, proof insurance. Yeah. I don't have insurance. I do have insurance. But I don't think I have. I never right, right, right. got the... Um, so we'll talk more about it. Yeah. All right, hang on a car for me. Stay in the car for me. Be right back. All right, Mr. Alexa. Do me a favor. Step out of the car for me. All right, here's the deal. 
Michael Joe for a lane violation. Got all over the place, okay? There's an odor of alcohol present in the vehicle as I'm speaking to you, okay? Put it from your breath as I talk to you, okay? For the use of standardized field sobriety tasks, I want you to show me you're able to operate a motor vehicle without impairment. You understand? I did it right now? What if I had a ride? No. You can't call a ride. We're not calling an Uber. We're not doing anything. You're driving your car. I want to make sure that you're able to get in your car and drive home. Well, I'm gonna ride home. No, we're not leaving your car here. You're in your vehicle, Why? and I have to make sure you're safe enough to drive in your current condition. Okay. This Florida cop observed this lady driving all over the place without coordination and realized that something wasn't quite right with the driver. He went ahead to pull the vehicle over and could immediately smell alcohol on the lady. After some back and forth with the young lady, the cop goes ahead to conduct sobriety tests to confirm what he already knows. Can I tell her mom first? Can I call her and tell her? No, you're not calling her. Why? Her. Because you are an adult, okay, and you were driving a car. I'm gonna make sure you're able to drive a car safely home. But I still have a home though, so it's like, why can't I call her and tell her that, yeah, I am doing this? You know, you're not calling Why can't she be here though? Why? Why? I, we're gonna try to move on, okay? Um, right now, are you sick or injured? The lady refuses to comply with the officer, insisting that she wants to call her mother to come pick her up. Unfortunately for the lady, she is an adult and has to be treated as one. And like they shouldn't, I'm just saying, like they do, like in that power over like other shit, like it's not. Okay. Would you like to continue? I'm just saying. So I'm not saying you. I'm just saying, like, there's big cops who, like, maybe had power over it, like, other. And it's not worth it, so. Okay. The steady interruptions from the young lady started to get to the cop, but he paused to allow her to finish speaking. You see the red to this? Yeah. Okay, we're going to follow. It's going to go up and down now, okay? You are going to be placed under arrest for DUI. Place no. your hands behind your back. No, I'm not. Do not resist me, okay? Place your hands behind your back. Am I you all that thing? Mom. Going away, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Put your hands again. She said. Another job. You're getting resistance. Stay back! Stay back! I'm not breathing! Stay back! She's getting charged with it! Amid the interruptions, the officer managed to conduct some tests on this lady, which ended up proving the obvious. Simply complying with the officer could have saved her the accompanying charge of resisting arrest. Well, we hope she learns from that experience. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.